What's good guys, I hope you're doing great. My name is David Makasi. So in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing a platform called Leonardo.ai. Leonardo.ai is a platform that helps you to convert any text into an image. This platform has changed the game when it comes to converting any text into an image. You all know how Midjourney works. Midjourney is a good platform, however, it's on a Discord platform where you have to go through Discord before you can access Midjourney. However, uh, when it comes to Leonardo, Leonardo is a standalone website and uh, the good part again with this, it gives you 150 images every single day so you can create as many images as you want in a month instead of you struggling to pay about $20 every single month to generate about maybe 10 15 images which is not a good option now there's a lot of people looking for free stuff so if you can come ahead and try out this uh, platform called leonardo i can assure you you're gonna get some good results so i'm gonna walk you through on how this platform works and how you can actually create images so first of all as you can see i'm on the home page so this is the home page this is what you're gonna see once you log in you're gonna have to sign up once you sign up to log in this is what you are going to see it looks like there's a lot of things going on so all these things you see on top here these are featured mods so you can create each and every mod based on the image you want so like a real image you're gonna have to use for the real if you want an animated image you're gonna use a mod called 3d animation so there is differences that you might need to choose based on your interest i'm gonna go ahead and show you how we can create one i do not have a prompt with me right now but i'm gonna use one of the prompts that we see um, under the community feed so this is a community feed where each and every person that has ever used Leonardo is good stuff they showcase all the images that they've made right here and i do think maybe Leonardo team they do pick best images that they can feature on their community feed which is this feed here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and try to use this image and then copy the prompt so this is the prompt we're gonna be using as you can see i just copied that prompt and i also need to make sure i use dream shape this is what they used so let's go ahead and try out and see if it's gonna work or if we are going to get the same result and generate an image using this option okay so we have it right there i'm gonna go ahead and paste my prompt right here fingers crossed i'm pretty sure we're gonna have exactly or at least close to the image that we saw i'm gonna go ahead and leave it to four results so we can see and compare how these four results look like result from so as you can tell all these images look exactly the same as the one we just copied the prompt from the difference is nothing but just the cut of the head and uh, like the black compression looks good the image quality looks amazing i can even use this image for a youtube video if i'm talking about african ladies like a thumbnail can be used for these type of images like leonardo is doing the best that you can never imagine i don't think even Mijani can reach to this type of image. I'm pretty sure it can, but for you to come out and have this type of image, you're gonna have to write a different type of prompts. But you can see with Leonardo, we just copied the prompt and regenerated that same prompt with this image. And uh, this image looks so fantastic. I can even download this image and start an Instagram page that's based on African women or whatever. So it's just a quick idea when you, if you wanna start up something, you can start generating images using Leonardo and those images can be posted on Instagram, TikTok or even Facebook. And another cool part is that once you have this image, you can also edit the image that you generated right here so you can differentiate yourself from other creators. As you can see, I just clicked on the canvas image option and it brought me here. So here I can, I can remove or add more features on this image or even edit the image itself. If you want, you can put text, you can paint it whatever color you want. You can make all the changes that you want and down here we've got an option where you can add an additional prompt wherever if you want to extend or what you want to include in the image there's a lot of things that goes through when it comes to um, editing images which i'm not going to do um, i messed up the other day i was trying out and messed up so i'm still kind of getting around with this platform once i get to know what i'm doing then i'm going to show you guys but as right now this is how I can explain to you guys because I like platform. I thought I could share this with you guys. Let me know if you tried Leonardo and what was your experience, how were the image quality and all that stuff. Let us know in the comment section. And uh, with that said guys, I'm going to leave you from today and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Peace out.